Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome back to the 3D Game Engine tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be changing the way our lighting structures work. Rather than having classes that basically mimic the way that the GLSL structures work, we're going to change it so that they're more scene graph friendly, so that we can put lights in our scene graph and draw things based on that. And that's going to be our goal. So, first off, I'm going to create a new package in my engine, because this is getting a little bit overdue now, called Components. This is just for all the components that are part of the engine, things that belong in, well, the engine, such as the Mesh Renderer. I'm going to move that to Components, because it's a lot more appropriate there. And you know what, sure, I'm going to move Game Component in there too, because, you know, it makes sense, Parent Class goes there. Might change that later. And because I will need to do it eventually, I'm going to change this to an abstract class. <laughs> it's been bothering me. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to change Mesh Renderer really quick to extend Game Component. And have... I'm going to delete those functions. So there. And now everything should work just the same, really. Just... Well... Just... We, it should be structured slightly differently. And cool, our scene's wor still working, everything's fine. Now I'm going to start changing a few things. For one, I'm just going to go down here and say, quote-unquote, permanent structures. You know, just to distinguish from the temporary code I have right now. And our first permanent structure is going to be private array list of directional light, I'll call it directional lights. And yeah, I'm going to import that, and in here I'm just, in my rendering engine constructor, I'm just going to initialize it to a new, yeah, to a new array list of directional light. There. And, well, that's really how this is going to work. We're going to you know what, yeah, I'm going to change my ambient light here, here, just so I have something to work with. That's probably a good idea. I'm going to change my ambient light to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and I'm going to just completely comment out all this temporary code so that I'm back to nothing in our forward renderer. That's going to make things a little bit easier, because I'm not going to have to manage a whole bunch of nonsense like that. There, much better. So what I'm really going to do is in my game component. Whoops. No, didn't want to close that. But thanks, I guess. I'm going to have a new function. Public void add to rendering engine. It's going to take in some rendering engine, rendering engine. And this is really going to be the secret to what I'm doing right here. I'm just going, I'm going to have this function so that no, don't want to create a class tag nav it. I want to import the class there. And this is going to be the secret. We're going to have the add to rendering f engine function so that we can go through our scene and add everything to the rendering engine. This solution of having a function in the game component is temporary. We're eventually going to make it so that, that what well, so that we don't have to go through every single frame and re-add everything to the array list. But for now, that's what I'm going to be doing. Now, my rendering engine, I'm going to be moving my directional light, wherever it is. It's going to become a component. And, yeah, it's going to be a component. So it's going to extend game component. And it's going to... Yeah, I guess I can ha still have all that, but what I really want to do is I want to have override the public void add to rendering engine, which takes in the rendering engine. There. And import it. And in our rendering engine, we're just going to have a function called add directional light. So, is that really the most appropriate? Yeah, I guess this is a good place to do it. Public void add directional light, takes in some directional light, 
direction light. So yeah, in a way we do have to directly support it, but hey, it works. At least for now. You'll see how we get around this later, but you know, I, I have a plan, as usual. So directional lights, I'm just gonna add the directional light, very simple. And th this is our solution. In our add to render in our add to rendering engine function, we're going to add directional light this. And that should be able or that should allow us to get all the directional lights, which is just what we're going for. So yeah, in our rendering in our render function. I'm gonna change game object a bit. I'm gonna have public void add to rendering engine, taking in some rendering engine, rendering engine, sure thing. And it's going to do what all the other ones have done. It's going to go through the list, component dot add to rendering engine this, and then child dot add to rendering engine with, wait, add to rendering engine with the rendering engine passed in. There. There. And this is what I'm going to do just before I render everything. At, yeah, right right after I clear the screen. Object dot, no, add to rendering engine this, sure. It's temporary, so I'm not too worried about it, but yeah. So, ooh, first off, I should say, yeah, I should create a private function, just so that this scales nicely. Private void clear, what should I call it, clear light list. And the reason I'm going to make this private is because I'm going to have more than one array list, and this way I can just clear them all in one call and don't have to worry about, oh, I forgot this one, you know, that stuff. But for now it's just going to say directional lights dot clear. So it gets rid of everything for the next frame. So clear light lights list, and then add everything to the rendering engine. Excellent, that's exactly what I'm going for. So now all I have to do is in our magic blending code, well, it's not really magic, but, you know, in our blending section, all I have to do to use all the lights I add, for every directional light, wait, for each directional light, directional light, in directional lights, oh right, I have a temporary variable, I'll say light, sure, I'm gonna set my directional light equal to light. And then I'm going to say object.render with forward directional. So there. And this is our solution. We're going to go for every directional light. We're going to set our active directional light to whatever light we're looking at and draw the scene with that active directional light. And, you know, I really should rename this. So, yeah, let's rename this to active directional light. Sure. Do the refactor. There. That's good. That's what I'm looking for. So at this point I should be able to go into test game and I should be able... You know what, yeah. Let's add a game object. I'll call it directional light object. It's going to be new game object. Yeah. And for directional light object, I'm gonna, oh yeah, and I'm gonna have a directional light. <laughs> I'll, I'll call it light. Sure is. Now I'll call it directional light. That's gonna be new directional light. Taking in all the parameters we did in this up here. So, yeah, all this stuff. Just going to make it a, a direct clone of this. So the, I'm just moving the code. Not doing anything new, just moving the code. And now we should be able to say directional light object dot add component directional light and then get root object dot add child and eventually we're going to make it so that we don't even need the get root object to do this, but you know, for now it works. Directional light object. Cool. And if everything worked out, I should be able to run and see our scene lit by the directional light. 
And it is! Look at that! And so, if I don't add it to the scene, then nothing! Great! So our whole add everything to the rendering engine through the hierarchy, at least our temporary solution for it, is working just fine. Which is good. That's, that's what I want. So now we just have to do the same thing for point lights and spotlights. And really, now that we have all of the framework in place, this is going to go a lot faster. So, let's... Let, well, let's get going. We're going to have an array list of point light. Call it point lights. There. Then, same thing here for every... Except not for directional lights. For every point light, light in the point light list. Well, well, not the point light list. The point lights. Point light list is my temporary structure. I'm gonna set point light to light and render with forward point. There. And eventually, I'm actually gonna generalize this. In fact, I might even get to do that at the end of the video, depending on how much time I have left. But we'll see. So in our clear list, I'm gonna say point lights dot clear and and for our point light variable I'm gonna shift F6 rename it to active point light yeah sure yeah do the refactor and cool and oh right and I want to move the class in the close core bit so they have space I'm gonna move the point light into our components there. This way, yeah, and I'm going to make it extend game component. So this way, just like directional light, I can override the add to rendering engine function. Yeah, sure. And say add point light this. Of course, I don't have that function yet, but that's easy enough. Just go to the bottom, copy, paste, add point light takes in a point light, point light, can, and say point lights dot add point light, and there. So now I should be able to run and see absolutely nothing different because I didn't change the test game yet, but it shouldn't crash at least. Oh ha! Aha! And that's because I forgot, to, I completely forgot to initialize the list, but that's okay. So, point lights, yeah, it's a new array list of point lights, of point light, rather, and there. That should work. Now I should be able to yeah, just copy one of these, copy some point light I have in here, sure, like this. Why not? Going to, yeah, I'm not even going to bother creating a variable, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to create new game object, call it point light object, and say, yeah, I'm going to add, and to point light object, I'm going to add the component of this ridiculous point light. Sure thing. And import. And here, just like before, I'm going to say get root object, add child, point light object, and I should be able to run. And cool, we got point lights. Now, I'm actually not going to add spotlights yet, because we're going to be changing the lighting system a bit. Right now, I just have this so that I can demonstrate the point and show you how things are different and show you the pattern. But in the next video, we're going to be actually changing the lighting structure and not just, well, where they're located. Right now, we've got it so that we're defining components outside that, and actually, yeah, I can go ahead and delete most of this excess code, like all this. In fact, I'm just going to comment this part out because, well, because I don't need it, not using it. And I can delete... Oh, I need ambient light. What am I thinking? <laughs> but yeah. Other than that, I... And yeah, I can comment the point list out, but yeah. Other than 
all that. In the next video, we're going to be changing our actual structures a little bit. Oh, comment this out. Yeah, we're going to be changing the structures a little bit so that they're more generic, and we can define our own types of lights that we can add on in the forward renderer. So you aren't just limited to directional lights, spotlights, and point lights, and whatnot. You can have whatever type of light you like, and it'll all work out just fine. Whoops. So yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned, and I'll see you next time.